With the recent release of their new GP3, GP6, GP9, and GP9M grand pianos, Roland has introduced a new concept called Piano Reality. And today, we're going to take a detailed look at Piano Reality, break it down, and go over each of its components, and explain how its implementation differs from the standard tier, to the premium tier, to the flagship concert tier. We'll do our best to make this discussion lay-friendly, so don't worry if you're not up on the latest digital piano tech. Of course, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments. We're happy to provide you with comparison information, as well as more technical explanations there. And, for those who would like a more in-depth technical explanation of how Piano Reality differs from previous role in tech, feel free to explore our blog, The Road to Piano Reality, at blog.rivertonpiano.com. If you find this overview helpful, please take a second to like this video and share it with your friends. That helps us so much more than you know. And don't forget to subscribe so you can see the individual overview videos we do on each of the new grants coming soon. Now, let's get to it. Since the introduction of their very first fully modeled digital piano back in 2009, Roland has been working to refine their algorithm and produce a more nuanced and musical piano experience. Piano Reality is the result of more than a decade of Roland R&D and feedback from dealers, educators, and professional musicians. It's a complete reimagining of their piano modeling platform, designed to take full advantage of the high-speed processors and memory that wasn't available back in 2009. It also incorporates more of the acoustic piano's characteristics than any other platform, but we'll go into more detail on that in a minute. First, we need to understand what Piano Reality is at its core. Put simply, Piano Reality is a single ecosystem made up of several interconnected components. It's a holistic approach to piano performance that incorporates key focus areas like the sound engine, delivering greater nuance, emotion, and color to the performance. The key action, perfectly merging with the player for unmatched sensitivity, speed, and control. The audio circuit, maintaining a fully digital signal that delivers clear, pristine sound without degradation. The amplifier and speaker system, producing a live 3D audioscape created by ideal speaker size, placement, and multi-channel signal processing. The pedaling system, giving the player even more acoustic tonal control and color. And the cabinet design and interface, presenting a stunning piece of furniture, a streamlined and contemporary user interface, and a purpose-built cabinet designed for the perfect speaker placement. Roland's engineers realized that as important as each of these components are, the key to providing a next-generation level digital piano performance was to understand how these components work together as a fully integrated system. If done right, this holistic approach, where every sight, sound, and vibration could work together to fully immerse the player in his or her music, would create an unforgettable virtual reality experience. And that is how Piano Reality got its name. Now let's take a look at each of these interconnected components and see how they contribute to the overall experience. We'll start by describing the flagship technologies in the Piano Reality Concert System. Then, toward the end of the video, we'll compare it to the Piano Reality Premium and Piano Reality Standard Systems. First up is Roland's new sound chip. The Piano Reality Concert Chip is Roland's latest and highest resolution sound engine designed with a completely new algorithm and unparalleled definition and expressiveness. As with previous Roland modeling chips, every aspect of the piano's tone, from the overall size of your virtual grand piano to each individual note's tuning and character, can be customized to suit your space and your taste. You can literally create the piano you'll love to play every single day. And since the chip uses piano modeling technology, instead of the older and far more limited sampling approach, the new chip offers unlimited polyphony, meaning it can produce just as many sounds, including overtones, damper and action sounds, cabinet resonance, and more, as an acoustic piano can. Most other digital pianos have a limit between 128 notes and 256 notes. That's the difference between hearing a rich, full sound from your piano and listening to a basic keyboard. And no real player is going to fall in love with a basic keyboard. The new sound chip also features ambience modeling. Think of how glorious your voice sounds in the shower. 
That's because the hard walls and space around you create an after echo that makes it sound like you're singing with a microphone. That after echo is called reverb, and put simply, ambience modeling allows you to customize your reverb by virtually designing a room for your piano to sing in. This will make the piano sound stunning in rooms with little or no natural reverb, and it can be reduced or even removed in live spaces with lots of echo. It's also a great tool for pairing a digital piano sound with a PA system. With the right adjustments, this system can surprise and delight your ears anywhere you go. But frankly, it doesn't matter how incredible the sound chip is if it can't properly process your input. That's where Roland's new accelerated key action comes into, well, play. Fitted with brand new sensors that are more than two and a half times faster than previous models, this new key action delivers even more data to the sound chip, meaning the system can reproduce every aspect of your performance in real time, even if you play softly or with more passion. The key action seems to merge with you as you play, creating a seamless conduit of emotion from your fingers to your ears, exactly the way a fine piano should. The keys themselves are based on Roland's PHA100 Grand Hybrid Action and are exactly the same length as a full-size grand piano key, but they're split into two parts and overlapped with a compound counterweight design. This is actually an improvement on traditional acoustic grand piano actions because the resulting mechanism gives the same amount of leverage and control in a smaller space. The new keys also feature Roland's critically acclaimed maintenance-free wood action design, combining high-quality key wood and a composite core to deliver the same weight, speed, and bounce as a traditional grand piano without the need for adjustment or repair down the road. This new key action also features the ivory feel key tops with antimicrobial pores that protect you and others from spreading germs as you play. And they offer the same click and push through feeling you get when playing an acoustic piano key called escapement. But the most exciting new feature in Roland's Piano Reality Concert Action is haptic feedback. When you play, the keys actually vibrate in the same frequencies as the notes you're playing, just like an acoustic grand piano. You will actually feel the piano vibrating underneath your fingers as you play. And there is no way to describe that sensation except to say, wow, you have to try this out. Another powerful upgrade in the Piano Reality Concert platform is Roland's new and fully digital audio circuit. In the past, digital sound coming from the sound chip was converted to analog fairly early in the process, leaving room for the signal to degrade as it passed through each subsequent circuit. These new pianos are able to deliver a completely digital signal all the way from their sound chip to their amplifiers, bringing clear, immaculate sound through the speakers with virtually no background noise. Though this may not seem as flashy a feature as the first two, the crispness and clarity coming from these speakers as a result is truly remarkable, and yet another example of why Roland chose to take an all-inclusive approach when designing their new pianos. Once the sound reaches Roland's custom-built amplifiers, it's processed into channels and projected through the Piano Reality Concert speaker system in full 7.1 channel 3D surround. Each of the eight speakers are positioned with care to present the same bold sound presentation as a traditional acoustic grand piano. Even the lid position and cabinet design play a role in delivering grand piano acoustics to the player's ear. And thanks to Roland's top secret sonic processing procedure, the piano tone is broken into components and projected through the piano's 3D sound field so it can hit your ears exactly the way notes from an acoustic piano would. Main tones seem to come from the center of the soundboard, while action noises and damper sounds feel much closer to the player. Overtones and afterring sounds seem to come from deep within the piano, and thanks to four near-field speakers across the front of the piano, you can actually hear the notes you play moving organically across the sound field, mirroring the physical string positions of an acoustic grand piano. This sound system projects an enormous range of color, from the most delicate woody treble tones to a truly thunderous bass. And you can customize all of it to sound exactly the way you want it to in any space. This technology just isn't available in any other digital piano. 
Underneath the piano sound system, we find yet another component to Roland's new immersive piano ecosystem, the Piano Reality Concert pedal mechanism. In past Roland models, pedal modeling came with a more limited set of parameters based on the resistance curve associated with traditional acoustic piano pedals. Up to a certain point, the player had to press harder to get increased sustain. But once the pedal reached a certain depth, it became easier to get increased sustain. The new system uses the same roadmap as the original model, but with added variables designed to account for a player pressing violently on the pedals, causing the dampers to launch off the strings. In an acoustic piano, you'd not only hear the pedal hitting the bottom of its housing, you'd also hear the strings react to the sudden abrupt removal of the dampers. Each of those sounds are now included in the Piano Reality Concert modeling engine, and each contribute new colors to the piano's overall sound. Let's say a player releases the damper pedal violently, causing the dampers to crash back down onto the strings. This also generates specific sounds, while changing the overall character of the piano's tone. Piano Reality Concert also accounts for this unique behavior. Even the internal sounds of the damper pedal mechanism have been included in the new algorithm, making this model the most complete and interactive piano algorithm ever created. The final component of Roland's new Piano Reality Concert system might seem like the least important, but don't be fooled. It too plays a vital role in the piano's overall performance, and that's the cabinet and user interface. This next generation piano cabinet wasn't just designed to look beautiful though it really does. It was designed to aid in the piano's acoustic projection, from housing each speaker in its perfect position, to providing the ideal lid angle and thickness, to allowing for sound mixing and overlap so the final mix hits your ears with all the color and nuance of an acoustic instrument. The GP9 and 9M feature full grand piano lid mechanisms complete with fold over small lid and crossbar that can be raised for greater projection or lowered to accommodate a singer or acoustic instrumentalist. Even the user interface has been completely redesigned with a full width touch panel control. Access all of the piano's functions without having to lean to one side or the other and with a simple double tap, extinguish the backlight and hide all of those controls so you can play your piano without visual distraction. With silver accents, chrome casters, rear bevel, and new contemporary legs. Every piece of this piano's cabinet has been redesigned for a more modern look and a more acoustic performance. Of course, these new Piano Reality Concert pianos have all the standard features, like 3D headphones ambience, Bluetooth audio and MIDI, audio recording, and hundreds of sounds. But what makes Piano Reality so special is the integration of all the aforementioned components in a natural, holistic manner. This is Piano Reality Concert. So how do the other levels differ? Well, the first step down from Piano Reality Concert is Piano Reality Premium. Piano Reality Premium still offers the fully modeled high-resolution sound chip with ambience modeling and unlimited polyphony. It's still completely customizable to fit any space, PA system, or taste. So from the sound chip perspective, there's little difference between Piano Reality Concert and Piano Reality Premium. The key action, however, is quite different. Piano Reality Premium offers Roland's standard size wood resin hybrid key action with the new high-speed sensor system based on the Progressive Hammer Action 50 or PHA 50 design. Unlike the Piano Reality Concert action, this key action doesn't have the extended keys, and it doesn't have the haptic feedback mechanism that recreates the natural acoustic vibrations found in a wooden strings piano. It still offers the escapement mechanism, ivory feel antimicrobial key tops, and a compound action design that feels fantastic, but takes up far less space. It's not quite as lifelike as the Piano Reality Concert action, but the Piano Reality Premium Key Action still outperforms anything the competition has to offer. Piano Reality Premium also offers Roland's Digital Audio Circuit, which preserves the integrity of Roland's audio signal right up until the final pre-speaker connection. 
Once there, the signal is processed into channels and projected through Roland's 5-speaker Piano Reality Premium 3D sound engine. It works just like the concert system does, projecting different sounds through different speakers, so they mix in the air and hit your ears the same way notes from an acoustic piano would. But it doesn't offer as much texture and complexity as the Piano Reality concert system. Still, it's an incredibly nuanced and colorful sound, better than anything we've seen from a digital piano in the past. Pedal modeling at the Piano Reality Premium level is just a bit simplified as well. It still does everything the Piano Reality Concert pedaling system does with one exception. It doesn't include the violent release modeling. You can still hear the internal components of your virtual acoustic piano react when the pedal is violently pressed. And it still follows the traditional roadmap algorithm. So this minor omission doesn't strike us as much of a big deal. The last change at the Piano Reality Premium level is in the cabinet. Don't worry, you still get the gorgeous rim bevel, the purpose-built cabinet with adjustable lid, and the cutting-edge touch panel control system. But you get a simplified lid instead of the fold-over lid mechanism, a sliding key cover instead of the fallboard type key cover, and standard legs with no casters. You also get the latest Bluetooth integration, MIDI and audio recording, 3D headphones audio, flash memory port, and auxiliary audio in and out jack. So the Piano's functionality is pretty much the same between the two. You just lose some of the neat extras that put Piano Reality Concert over the top. Unfortunately, the jump down to Piano Reality Standard is a bit more significant. Here, you lose the modeled sound chip and ambience modeling altogether in favor of a sampling plus modeling approach similar to what Roland used to call supernatural piano sound. This is a newly sampled piano, however, so it sounds quite a bit better than the old one did. The action, too, is greatly simplified from both the concert and premium levels. At the Piano Reality standard level, you get a fully resin key action instead of a wood resin hybrid design. There's no haptic feedback and no extended keys, but you do get the new high-speed sensor system. Essentially, this is the latest incarnation of Roland's PHA4 key action with escapement and ivory feel keys. Piano Reality Standard also doesn't offer the digital audio circuit we find in the concert and premium levels, meaning the signal doesn't have the same pristine quality those pianos do. And the sound system at this level is a simple stereo system with a third tone port at the top. The pedaling system is much like Roland's previous generation pedal with continuous detection. It provides a nice, reliable control, but it doesn't have the pizzazz the concert and premium systems do. Finally, the Piano Reality standard cabinet is still designed to augment the audio coming from the speaker system, but it has far less impact than the other two levels, and you don't get that incredible touch panel control system. You still get the rim bevel, silver hardware, and wood soundboard though, so though these pianos definitely look like the entry point to Roland's new Piano Reality ecosystem, they still have a nice look overall. Piano Reality Standard also offers full Bluetooth MIDI and audio integration. MIDI recording, no audio recording at this level, sadly, 3D headphones audio and a flash memory port. No aux in or out ports at this level. Well, if you stuck with us this long, you've certainly learned the differences between Roland's Piano Reality Concert, Premium, and Standard Pianos. We hope this helps you decide which level is right for you. We think these are some of the most exciting digital pianos we've ever seen, but we'd love to hear your thoughts. Did we miss anything? Do you have any questions? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like this video if you learned something. Thanks for watching, and for making it all the way to the end. Make sure you check out more of our videos before you go. May the love of music lead you to life's greatest joy. We'll see you next time.